welcome back to another Django tutorial series and this is the invoice management system so I'm gonna log in and show you what we have to build in this series so this is your landing page after logging in okay so it will show you all the invoices you have in the system all right so you can search the invoices by typing the invoice number I can put invoice number 10 okay so that's the invoice invoice 5 okay you have it right here I can also search it by amount okay so let's say I want to search the invoice with this amount 25,000 I can put the amount here okay I have three invoices with that amount you can also search it by customer name Let's say I want to search for an invoice with a body as the customer name. All right, we have it right here. Okay, so aside from searching the invoices, you can um, add invoices by clicking new invoice. Okay, but before showing you that, let me go back to list invoice. So with the list of invoices window, I can generate these invoices to PDF okay let's say I want to generate invoice number 9 I'm gonna type invoice 9 and click generate okay I'm gonna select this checkbox first and then click generate so if I check in right here you can see this invoice is generated and I can double click it and that's the invoice okay so we're gonna do the formatting we're gonna put the logo of the uh, company you have the two like where you are sending the invoice to or who owns the invoice then the telephone number of who you are giving the invoice to the invoice number invoice date amount and the details on the invoice all right you have signed then whatever you want or whoever you want to sign with the total right here all right so let's see how to add the invoices in the system I'm gonna click new invoice all right so this is the details I'm gonna send the invoice to my carry CC invoice number or the telephone number of the client the date so the date I'm gonna show you how to select the date automatically let's say the system will pick today's date automatically or you can choose to select the date yourself okay so before selecting the date I want to drag your attention to this recent invoices you can see I have a list of invoices here and I decide to list out the sixth most recent invoices okay one two three four five six all right but this will give you the total amount of invoices you have all right but it's gonna just display the sixth most recent one all right okay so I have one invoice which I was testing and the date I choose was on the fifth so I'm gonna choose sixth for this invoice okay I'm gonna click on the sixth and the first line will be laptops the quantity will be 10 and the amount or the price the unit price will be let's say 4,000 or let's say 1,000 dollars and then that will be the total for that line will be 10,000 so this will automatically be calculated and the total will be filled in here like as I am typing this field so we're using JavaScript to um, do this calculation for us and then uh, add or put the the figure or the total of this line right here okay so as I'm adding these figures this is multiplying this quantity by the unit price okay all right so we have 10,000 on that line the line total and if I scroll down it automatically fills the total field as well okay so let's see what will happen when we add line 2 so line 2 will be let's say monitors quantity will be 30 unit price 500 so as you are filling this the quantity will be multiplied uh, by the unit price that will give you the line total and this line totals all the line totals 
will be added together to half the total for the invoice okay so i can scroll down and then uh, choose the invoice type let's say it's gonna be an invoice or receipt or performer invoice okay so any of the field that you want to choose you can select it so in this case i want to choose invoice like let's say we want to add few more lines to this invoice we can add or click show slash hide more lines okay if i click that we're gonna have five more lines okay so that, that's gonna give us a total of 10 lines okay for this invoice so i'm gonna scroll down i can decide to hide or show the remaining five lines okay so i'm gonna click save i'm gonna add one more invoice the telephone number the invoice date my work card quantity let's say 50 unit price 10 you have the line 2 as keyboard okay you have quantity as 10 unit price as 150 all right so i'm gonna click save this will be invoice as well and i'm gonna click save okay so saved added oh <laughs> look at what i just used as the notification so we're gonna change that i wanted to say saved successfully all right so i'm gonna show you how to do the notification as well all right so um so i can choose to um change the invoice to uh receipt that is after it has been paid i'm gonna go back to list and i choose one of the invoices i'm gonna change it to paid and now i want to uh change it to receipt okay now if i click save okay that is saved successfully now i want to print invoice number 16 or the uh, receipt number 16 all right i'm gonna click generate and i click search or generate and that is successfully generated i'm gonna check it right here i guess that is this one here let's check the name of the invoice lanasane all right it's right here and you can see this time it is um, a receipt okay instead of an invoice and when I check the other one and this was an invoice okay so based on what you have in the database is what is gonna be printed on the PDF okay so let's check where we have any other thing to discuss so that's how to edit it I'm gonna go back here okay so uh, we ha also have this um, uh, paginations going on. If you have more than 15, it will now create a page two. You can now click page two to take you to page two. And I'm gonna click back page one, okay? So we're gonna do that pagination as well. So I guess this is what we wanna cover in this series. It's gonna be uh, a quick one. So once you're done with everything, you can now click log out. And that will send you out of the application so this is what we have for this series i'm hoping that you will enjoy the series and um as usual all the codes will be on the blog site appcoms.com so see you in the next video